this protein versus moisture battle is something that you guys ask me about all the time so that's why I come here to share with you the answers to these four questions that I get asked all the time so you guys will ask me how do I know if my hair needs moisture or protein how do I know if I'm using too much moisture or protein what will adding protein do to my hair what's the best way to add these to my routine Without further ado, people, keep watching this video and I will answer these four difficult and confusing questions for you. <laughs> All right, Amanda, let's take it away. So unfortunately, I don't have like a white or a blackboard to write on because you will want to take notes, but maybe that's a good thing because my handwriting is horrid and we have Amanda. So Amanda, answer me. Yeah? Bennett, would you care to write for us? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to talk about how we can incorporate both protein and moisture into our routine. But first, let's talk about if you really need it. So let's take a look at our checklist. Is your hair too soft, too hard, lacking definition, frizzy? Does your hair have too much volume? Is there too little volume? Do your curls look stringy? Now, depending on how you answered here, I'm going to explain to you how you can solve these problems. How do I know if my hair needs moisture or protein? So we'll talk about frizzy hair first. Obviously, our hair craves moisture and it looks best when it's moisturized. So we load up on the moisture. We use lots of conditioners, anything moisturizing in general. And now our hair has gotten too soft. Now, what the moisture is doing is obviously giving your curls that life, that bounce. It's giving it shine. But now you're missing definition. It's so soft that it's not even curling properly. You need a balance of protein. How do I know if I'm using too much moisture or protein? So whenever your hair is very frizzy, you need the moisture. But then too much moisture can lead to extra soft hair, which will lead to the need of protein. But when our hair is already strong and it already has enough protein and you're overloading it, your hair shines actually begin to create a really hard shell and then they'll become really stiff and they'll feel dry and honestly brittle. This can become a very scary state, but all you have to do is add moisture to your hair and it will balance out that imbalance. That's just what it is. When you have too much of one thing, you're needing the other. And do you see how that's a cycle? How do you know if your product has protein in it? Well, it's probably saying that it's strengthening, fortifying, maybe it has keratin in it, or it will straight up say protein. Any product that is labeled this way will provide strengthening for your curls. What will adding protein do to my hair? Depending on how damaged your hair is, it's usually the damaged hair that needs extra protein. For me, I incorporate it in every single wash day. But if you're someone that has never put their hair through chemical processing or heat damage, well then you don't really need much protein at all. In fact, you can probably do maybe a protein treatment once a month or you really just gotta listen to your hair. If your hair gets to the point where it's too soft, lacking definition, or hits one of those key points, just do a protein treatment to solve it. What's the best way to add these to my routine? For someone like me or anyone that has put their hair through processing, right after processing, you want to be fortifying your hair. So every single wash day, there's gotta be something, whether it's your conditioner, a deep conditioner, your leave-in, even curl creams and gels can have protein. I would have protein show up within like at least two of your wash day products. But the key is to know that even though your hair needs the protein, it still needs that balance of moisture. So never forget the balance. There's got to be a harmony. So in my own routine, I usually use a damage conditioner that has protein in it. From the same line, I use the Damage Remedy Mask. So I use either a conditioner or a deep conditioning mask, depending on how many times I have to wash my hair that week. Then I use a leave-in treatment that has protein in it. My curl cream also has a little bit of protein in it and so does my gel. So on my average wash day, there's protein within my entire routine. Sometimes all you have to do in order to figure out if it's working is try it out yourself, try out some products, see if your hair reacts one way or another and balance it out with the missing ingredients. It's pretty simple. You just have to be able to identify what your hair needs. And just take a look at the checklist and you'll know how. 
Alright guys, that's everything I have for you today. If I haven't answered all of your questions, I know you guys have a lot, leave them in the comments below. I will get to them as soon as I can. And if you're wondering who has won this giveaway that I announced last week, well, stay tuned, check your inboxes. I will be announcing that person soon, but the giveaway is still up. If you want to enter, go to my last video, watch the video, and in the description you will find out how to enter a giveaway valued at five hundred dollars and I think that's it what else do you guys want to see let me know leave that in the comments below as well and I will see you next Tuesday mains by mail out sorry I'm distracted by the fact that it's snowing outside Dirty as fuck. Okay, put them down. Okay, go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's lesson. We're gonna be. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. I want you all to grab your notebooks because today we're gonna be tackling one of the most confusing topics of all.